At Global Electronic Services, we repair industrial electronics, motors, servo motors, hydraulics, and pneumatics down to component level. We specialize in repairing old and obsolete equipment that is no longer supported by the OEM. Because we have so many custom engineered test stands, we can load test your old and obsolete units to ensure they are repaired correctly and that the quality surpasses OEM standards. Here we have a card out of a Siemens Simo Drive series servo drive. The customer has sent this unit in for repair and reported that the servo drive wouldn't power up. Upon phone consultation with the customer, the technician has gone step by step, walking them through a checklist to determine that the servo card is where the problem is and that it has a power supply issue. To check the power supply section of the board, the technician checked it with a voltmeter. He found that there was a ripple on the supply. The most obvious cause for the ripple is the power supply and noise filter capacitors. After the technician has finished changing out the capacitors, he will now load test in our Siemens Simo Drive test stand. First, he will remove the known good servo card and then replace with the customer's servo card to see if changing out the capacitors has resolved the power supply issue. He will turn on the power and check the card's display. The unit still appears dead. As you can see, there is no display. Without the use of our custom test stand to actually function test the servo card, the unit could have shipped out to the customer repaired, as just powering up the card on a bench after changing the capacitors would have indicated the problem was resolved. The technician now removes the unit from our test stand. Now the technician will check the switching portion of the power supply because we know that the back panel from our test stand is providing the necessary external power to the card and the card is still not turning everything on inside. This indicates the digital switch IC is defective. Now the technician is changing out the IC. and then we will be ready to function test the servo card again in the test stand. The card is ready to test. The technician is now inserting the card back into the test stand and will now power up the servo drive. success. We have a working card. Now we will engage the servo motor to load test the unit. As you can see, everything is working properly. This unit is ready to go back to the customer.